Now I'm not going to use colouring pencils for my drawing today because I want to be able to really concentrate on where the light and the shade is on my eye without having to worry about any colours. So I'm just going to use my pencil to shade in all of the light and the dark areas. So I'm going to start with the darkest area because I think that's the easiest place to start. Now I've remembered that these are my light spots that are hitting the front of my eye so I'm not going to shade those but I'm going to shade the whole of my pupil as dark as I can get it because that's the darkest thing I can see on my eye. So take your time to really shade this in. I've got a little tip to help you with your shading. If like me your hand moves across the rest of your picture it can end up getting smudged everywhere. So if you get another piece of paper and place your hand on top of that, that protects your drawing from getting smudged. Now this black circle in the centre of the eye is called the pupil and this is actually a hole that's covered by a clear lens, a bit like a lid on the front of your eye to keep it safe. And we can see because light travels inside that hole and into the middle of our eye. And you might be able to notice when you look at your eye in the mirror, if you're in a room with lots of bright light, the pupil will shrink and it will become really, really small so that your eye doesn't get too much light in it, which will hurt it. And if you're in a room where there's not a lot of light, so it's a little bit darker, your pupil will get really, really large to let in a lot more light to help you see better. Now we're going to come on to shading the iris now. This is the coloured bit all the way around the outside of your eye. Now this might be different in your eye than in mine. When I look really closely at my iris, I can see that it's darker towards the edge and it's lighter in the middle. So I'm going to use some of the shading techniques that I've practised to make it darker here and lighter here. But whatever I do, I want to make sure that my iris is not as dark as my pupil, otherwise I won't be able to see it anymore. I'm going to do a really dark edge, fading out and getting lighter as I come in. So now that I've shaded mine darker around the edges, I'm going to go back and I'm going to look really closely to see what other details I can see around the iris. Now when I look in the mirror, I can see that because my eyelid hat sticks out a little bit, there's a bit of shadow just underneath it. So just along here, my iris is definitely darker. I'm going to shade that darker. I've also noticed when I look really closely but all the way around my iris it's almost like a little pattern. I don't know if you can see that in your eye. Some people have it really clearly and some people it's difficult to spot. But I have little lines, little sort of markings and patterns that come in from the edge of my iris. So I'm going to fill in some of those so I can see that texture. Now if you do have a rubber, we can rub out those lines that we had from the edge of our pupil where we decided we wanted some light. And then they will just look like big spots of light. Brilliant, so now you've shaded your pupil, you've shaded your iris, and did you know that the iris's job it works like a little muscle to pull your pupil wider and smaller so that it lets in more and less light. So now we're going to look at the light and shade that we can shade in the white part of our eyes, it's called the sclera. So I can see that from where I'm sat, I have a little bit of shadow that falls down this part of my eye. So I'm going to shade this whole section really lightly just to show a little bit of shadow. So have a really close look at your eye and see where have you got shadows on that white bit. I can also see that this side of my eye is a little bit more in shade than the rest. So I'm going to do a little bit of shading on this side. 
Now we can make, because our eye is a sphere shape, we can make it look more like a sphere by making the edge a little bit darker and then getting a little bit lighter towards the middle. So that's what I'm going to try and do here. There we go. And now I'm going to look at the shadow on my eyelids. So I'm going to look really closely and I can see that actually this is a bit of a thicker black line here because it's quite a big crease. So I'm going to shade that to be a little bit of a thicker line. And I can also see that I have a little bit more shadow on this part of my eyelid. So I'm going to lightly shade this part of my eyelid. And I also have a little bit more shadow in this section here. So I'm going to lightly shade this section. Now because our hands move this way, if you're trying to shade in that direction, it makes it easier to turn the page so that it goes the way that's easiest for your hand to move. There we go. And then underneath my eye, I can see the same thing. I've got a lot more shadow here. So I'm really going to shade this section. And I'm going to curve it around because that's the shape I can see the shadow going. And I can also see that there's almost a little shape like this just on the inside of my eye where it's a little bit darker around that. And then that sticks out slightly, that's just a little bit lighter. I'm going to shade around there as well. Now keep your pencil really, really light if you only want a little bit of shade. This is quite a tricky skill to practice to make sure you can press really lightly as you're filling in that shade. And I've also got a little bit along here that I'm going to shade in. Now I've nearly finished, but I've just noticed that my eyelashes look a little bit thin. So what I'm going to do is go along and I'm just going to add some short little marks here just to thicken out the bottom of that so that it looks just a little bit more full. There we go. Thank you for joining me in this video. I hope you've learned a little bit about how to draw the human eye and maybe even a little bit about how it works. I cannot wait to see your version so please do send me pictures when you've had a go. Bye!